This episode is brought to you by Domain.com. So you've likely heard of CyanogenMod, but exactly what is it and why should it matter to you? CyanogenMod is one of the best known custom ROMs out there, enabling millions of users around the world to custom their devices until their heart's content. CyanogenMod is so popular that the people behind CyanogenMod started Cyanogen Inc and developed partnerships with phone manufacturers that have CyanogenMod as the default operating system. But what exactly is a custom ROM? Google releases the source code for Android via the Android Open Source Project, which allows anyone to download the source code for stock Android and modify it to their liking. Many people add features to try and further optimize the operating system to improve performance. When people talk about flashing ROMs, they are referring to overwriting the old version of Android that is installed and replacing it with a third-party alternative, like CyanogenMod. However, the term ROM is not necessarily used correctly when talking about third-party custom firmware. A ROM, per se, in computer science terms, is read-only memory, which can only be read and not written more than once in the most basic sense. Smartphones and tablets use flash memory to store the Android OS, so the correct term should really be custom firmware. This naming convention may lead to some confusion when talking about custom ROMs. Just remember, the firmware is being changed, not any ROMs that might be on the device. Now let's talk about the roots of Cyanogen. Cyanogen Mod started out as a simple alternative to stock Android on the HTC Dream and HTC Magic devices, with the initial release of Cyanogen Mod 3.1 back in 2009. With Android's open source nature and the ability to obtain root access, anything is possible, and with the popularity of custom ROMs, the CyanogenMod community blossomed. In fact, it boomed. CyanogenMod really started to be recognized with CyanogenMod 7, based on 2.3 Gingerbread. This release added new and improved features over stock Android, like BusyBox in the shell, as well as improving the stock apps. Now, what exactly are the advantages of CyanogenMod over stock Android? Well, the whole reason behind installing a custom ROM is to add features, improve performance, and change the look of stock Android. This is exactly what you get with CyanogenMod. There are features in CyanogenMod that are simply not available in stock Android, like the ability to change the status bar to your liking or apply different themes. CyanogenMod brings a lot to the table in terms of freedom, and one of the biggest aspects of that is root access. You see, root access gives you administrative rights, at least in Windows terms, to your file system. This means you can access all your system files and just allows you to do a lot more. For example, there's no official way to back up your data easily. However, if you use Titanium Backup and its root needed features, you can back up your apps and data and transfer your data to another device without fail. However, a word of warning, root access is not as secure as non-rooted. Now let's talk about Sanogen Mod's release cycle, because after version 10.2, Sanogen Mod changed the release cycle to make everything a lot simpler. There's really two levels. There's the development channel. These are the same as nightlies from before. They're every 24 hours and are highly unstable. You don't want to use the development channel on your daily driver device. The second is a release channel. These are like M snapshots and are made each month which are suitable for daily use, although they may lag behind the nightly builds by two weeks as far as features and improvements. Now, how exactly do you flash CyanogenMod on your device? Well, if you look at the link below in the show links, there is a general step-by-step -step guide to help you do just that. Let me know how it works on your device. What is your favorite custom ROM? Have you tried Cyanogen? And what did you think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys remember from like 15 years ago when people were making money hands over fist in the dot-com bubble? Remember we didn't call it a dot-net bubble or dot-org bubble? We didn't call them dot-biz billionaires. We called them dot-com billionaires because that's the power of a dot-com. Now, why is that? Because no domain name extension tells your story with the same degree of trust as a .com or .net domain name. .com and .net domain name extensions inject credibility into your online presence. Save 15% on domain names and web hosting when you use our coupon code ANDROID at domain.com checkout. When you think domain names, think domain.com.